Well, that's it. It's trip day. We're going away in the van today. Anything to add? Um, hopefully the weather gets a bit nicer. How ecstatic she is to go. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a couple of little jobs to do first of all. And then we're going to head off. Yep. So it's currently half nine in the morning. We'll see what time we'll actually get away. Probably about half nine tonight. Yeah, probably. We'll see you soon. Right, for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you might notice we're not in the van. It's because the pension out of the side here, she's got a crippled back and she's not sure if she's going to be able to sleep in the, the van or not. So we're just going on a little day trip in the car instead. First of all, we're going to get some petrol. Sorry, the road's a bit it's bouncy. Road. I'm going to go and get a little bit of petrol in the car, and then we're going to drive up to Amble. We've got my daughter and the grandson in the back as well. So that's, we just arrived at Amble. Um, we're just going to have a little wander. Um, well, I got a new little toy the other day, actually. I don't know if we've told you. Um, bought yourself a drone so maybe gonna have a mess about with that and see if we can get any nice footage um because amble if you're not from the northeast anyway you'll probably not know is an absolutely beautiful place um there's lots of sea lions seals i'm not sure i think it might be seals actually i think it was dunbar where we saw a sea lion um but anyway seals i think we'll see um, but obviously at the same yeah. time you can't hover it over them and scare them oh yeah so. but we might see them kind of in and out the water or whatever yeah i'm still not sure if i'm going to fly it though because i've only flown it for about five minutes i'm still not very confident with it at the minute and i'm definitely not going to <laughs> so. all right we'll come back to you in a bit so we're just walking down by the harbour um it's actually really busy it's a lot busier than I was expecting it to be here. Although seeing that it is small, it is so. There's that's no uh, more seals than or anything. No. Um, plenty of birds. See, there's plenty of birds. See if I can I'll spin you around and I'll show you the birds. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to walk up and see if we can get a, a cupper or something, find someone to feed baby James, yeah. that'll be short. Um, <laughs> maybe he's got some chips, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Never a trip to the seaside without some chips. <laughs> got a fisherman here just repairing the nets. I'm assuming they've been out this morning and they're just filling any holes up. Ready to go tomorrow, I bet.
right, so we're just having five minutes. Um, Laura's just had to change James. We're just over the road from the, the hatchery centre. Um, there's a nice semicircle seat. It's in the shade, so it was ideal for changing James. And we're, we're having a cuppa, so <laughs> Laura's, Laura's got one as well. We've got matching cups. <laughs> so um, brought a flask. So we're just going to have a cuppa, and then we'll have a, a little wander back around, I think. Probably go back to the car, because there's not really that much to see. But, I mean, it's still a nice little day out. So we're just having a walk around the, the little pier, but it goes in a, a loop, basically. Um, the last time we were here was, well, here, was when we first slept in the van. Obviously mm -hmm. the last time we came to Amble. Yeah. We went home early again. <laughs> um, but yeah, the last time we walked around here together is uh, the first time we slept in the van. There was people paddle boarding. Yeah. It was it was lovely, wasn't it? There's, I mean, there's kids over here playing. We won't show them, obviously, because they're, they're kids playing, but, you know, they're splashing around, having a good time. I mean, rather them than me, because I think the water will be freezing. Mm -hmm. So in the <laughs> distance, we've got Coquit Island. Um, as we get further around, we'll, we'll show you that.
don't know if you can see it, but just there's two little white lighthouses or buildings just over there. That's Koke Island or Coquette Island. Yeah, that's probably better, yeah. Well, that's the signs that I've just shown you. All the different birds and things that are across there. Yeah, it said there was 40,000 breeding pairs of various seabirds. So that was on one of the signs back up in the harbour. Uh, puffins, all sorts. Um, seals as well. Yeah. So the stranger things just happened. We always thought train spotting was set in Scotland, but we've just found the toilet used in the original movie here. <laughs> 